recording in progress. Hi guys. Uh, in this video, let's look at a very interesting uh, technique. I would not say shortcut because there's no nothing called a shortcut in you know aptitude examinations. Those are, those are just techniques altogether. So we'll look at a very important technique uh, as to understand, especially how to multiply a number by 15. Now, this is generally asked in the CAT examination. Okay, you'll see any number into 15 is commonly asked in the CAT examination. Now, please understand CAT doesn't test your in-depth, uh, you know, hold over calculations or mathematics. So they expect you to be smart enough in calculation. So pick up these smart, 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 smart techniques to see that you are waste, you're not wasting your time and you're, you know, ensuring that you are also solving accurately and under time pressure. Right. So for just to understand multiplication of 15, let's first understand how do I multiply with five. Now, the technique is nothing but a mathematical technique only. I can write five as 10 divided by two. Clear. Now, suppose I want to look at multiplying 12 into five. I can write always this as 12 into 10 divided by two. Right. So I can always remember that if I have to multiply a number by five. Right. So I can divide the number by two. So this becomes 60 here. Clear. So I repeat. Whenever the question has asked you 12 into 5, what you can do is you can write the number, add a 0 in the end, and divide the number by 2. It is into 10 by 2, right? So this becomes 120 by 2, which will give you 60. Let's take another uh, example. Uh, suppose I'm talking about 20, let's say 7 into 5. So all you have to do is just write 270 divided by 2. Now 270 divided by 2 will give you nothing but 135 as the answer. So I repeat, multiplication of 5 is nothing but into 10 by 2. Now let's look at a three-digit number. Suppose I'm talking about 123 into 5. Now we should be quick at the division of 2, right? So this becomes 1230 divided by 2, which gives you how much? 615 should be your answer. So multiplication of 5 becomes pretty easy whenever the question has been asked, right? But as I told you, in CAT examination, they generally do not ask you multiplication of 5 but they make your job, in fact, easier. Okay. They give you multiplication of 15. Now we'll be applying the distributive law of mathematics. Okay. Now what is distributive law of mathematics? I'm just, or I'm distributing the number. Suppose I'm asked, uh, let's say I'm asked a number called 18 into 15. Understand it for once. And then we follow this always. Okay. Now 15, I can write this as into 10 plus 5. Now this is what I'm distributing 15 to be 10 plus 5. Now, why did I say this makes your job easy? Now, what is 18 into 10? 18 into 10 gives me 180. Now, what is 18 into 5? 18 into 5 is half of 18 into 10. Now I already have 18 into 10 here. So if I half this, so I have to write a plus sign. Half of 180 is 90. And if I add both of them, 270 becomes your answer, which is going to be 18 into 15. I'll take one more example, guys. Now, suppose let's take a larger number. Let's talk about 26 into 15. I repeat, write 15 as 10 plus 5. Now, what is 26 into 10? 26 into 10 is nothing but 260. Now, what is 26 into 5? I repeat, 26 into 5 is half of 26 into 10. I have already written 26 into 10 here. So I just half this. What is this divided by 2? That is 130. And if I add both of them, what do I get? I get 390 is nothing but the value of 26 into 15. Clear? Right? Let's take, a, uh, let's take one more example. Suppose I'm talking about 124 into 15. Let's take a three-digit number. So directly I write this as one, two, four, zero into 10 and I half this number itself. So this divided by two, I repeat, all I do is I divide one, two, four, zero by two. I need not write it separately. This is two, six or 12, uh, two, twos are four and two zeros are zero. So when I add these two numbers, what do we get here? We get one, eight, six, zero becomes a number, which is multiplication of 15. Right guys, I'll take one last example. Uh, let's talk about a four digit number. Let's talk about one, four, five, six into 15. Now, what is one, four, five, six into 10? That is one, four, five, six, zero. Now I half this. This is two sevens. This is two twos are four. You have a 16 left. Two eights are 16 and a zero. Now let's add them quickly. This is zero. This is four. This is eight. And this is 21. 
So 21,840 becomes your answer. Clear guys. So please understand this technique and also practice it. Right. It's a very important technique because in aptitude examinations, generally multiplication of 15 is asked. So the technique is simple. 15 is into 10 plus five and five is half of 10. I hope you like this video guys. Thank you.